Hi guys. So I'm oh 11 11 on the car. So I'm in a situation in my life that is very painful because I had an injury in at my neck which I'm not getting diagnosed for, but it had a huge um effect on my life and so basically I overstretched my neck um, and I hurt myself so I didn't even have an accident like all the normal people do that's why regret is really really prevalent and big right now in my life because I see how active I was and how I'm not anymore sorry so so that's very painful to watch because I was someone who is like a runner um, a yoga gal meditation person which you still can meditate whenever Say hi. Hi. and um, so now life is really different and the worst part of it all is that you don't get diagnosed so and you still look the same I still look the same so people think I'm making it up people think it's mental Anyway, um, and I uh, like I cannot feel my legs anymore, um, and life is really different. Um, I still feel like too alive to die, <laughs> um, but not really able to use this feeling of aliveness. to do things in the world right to be active to work in the garden to um, and it's funny because the first part of my life was always about like meditating healing writing a lot and then I thought like I reached like a some kind of um, plateau from where you could go into the world and be of service in a physical manner like helping people in the garden being uh, being an all-rounder in a hotel or hostel or whatever bed and breakfast or because I love this kind of work I love this kind of all-rounder work and and that happened, the injury happened in January and it's quite harsh because there's probably no going back to normal days because I would rather lose energy, lose capacity, lose ability and the more I lose it the more I want to participate in life um, and then I don't have the support from my own family just because they think it's mentally and I seem depressed just because my brain is much slower and less there's less blood fluctuation so there's great regret because I was someone who's uh, was living in the moment and like doing all the things I wanted to do and like sometimes I thought life is kind of over when you're 34 <laughs> which is the stupidest 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 most stupid thing I've ever that ever crossed my mind that was ever that I ever that ever a living human being could think that this that you're old when you're 34 you're only old when your body tells you 
Oh, well, yeah, that was quite an injury. Now we are old. And... So there's huge regret every day because I'm affected every day, right? Um, it's not going away, it's there um, and I can distract myself but life with constant distraction and this distraction is, doesn't even mean like going for a walk, going for a run, going for a hike, going for a bike ride. Even driving the car is quite exhausting. And now this year life actually felt like, okay, I'm gonna, um, you know, earn money and work for people. Mm. I've been sitting with why this could happen, because uh, it could happen. And it was quite a quite painful revelation that I had. And it had to do with losing the connection to myself um, over and over again along the way in 2021 when I was maybe working in a place that was not for my highest good. Mm. Which we sometimes can push through, but at the same time it's like, meh. If you're scared of judgment, if you know you should quit, but you're scared of judgment, because you think you have to push through, Mm. then you're not in the right place and you're not doing it correct and then I was like over and over making decisions that were like not actually coming from a place that was representing my current state of being but rather I would for example go to Canada which is not a bad thing but I would go there for three months and I was like you know what like it would have been enough to go just one month and come back because Germany is my home my family here is my home and I would um, constantly feel isolated and um, alone as well and I sp would spend time with people but <laughs> I would spend it in a way where I thought and that's another crazy thought I had last year I was like I'm leaving soon anyway and I'm like today where did you leaving in terms of leaving earth and I was like why did this first of all ever cross my mind you know when you're 34 you're not just like dissolving into air um 34 yeah and for some reason i i didn't question that once i was just like i'm leaving soon anyway ha <laughs> ha and today i was like what first of all why do you consider that funny and second of all why did you think that and why didn't you question that because sometimes when people have that feeling of they are leaving soon maybe that's their intuition telling them go to the doctor because you have um, cancer in the first stages and you can still do something about it or you have a disease so you have a sickness um, and it's a sign from the universe to go to the doctor but for me it was more like I got more and more detached from my person I completely lost even though I was doing yoga even though I would go for a run even though I would swim and go for walks at some point I, I lost complete um, connection to myself and I think huge reason for that is um, 
the connection to others help us to stay in touch with ourselves and I was quite lonely I was working on my own most of the time and then I was just going home living with my family but going home doing things on my own and maybe meet people sometimes but not really too many and and then this year I'm like basically my soul came back to me but my body is gone now and last year my soul left and my body was still there but I had um, symptoms of um, I felt like huge pressure on my neck and huge pressure on my sp uh, spine it was like so I had lots of tremors and shaking and I shaking and I broke my tailbone once and I don't know if it's connected to it but it, it there was lots of pressure on my spine a lot of times when you that's when I should have gone to see someone or an osteopath who can like take pressure away and I didn't and I didn't question the thought of I'm leaving soon anyway you know like whatever I don't need more clothes I'm leaving soon anyway whatever I'm using it now because I'm leaving it any soon anyway and I'm like it's a year ago and I haven't left and I question like today I'm confused why I never questioned that thought that's so and also be saying that in a way as if would as if it would not affect me greatly or be sad or be terrifying and tragically affecting other people as well I said it in a way where I didn't think of other people like I'm leaving soon anyway okay so life now is um, quite uh, lame frustrating sad and full of regret because now I see all the things that I could do and should have done and where I went the wrong way so many times like a lot of times I said take me home and I was like and today I'm like this is your home and then I was like I'm leaving soon anyway and now I think why the hell would you leave a healthy young person and it's not it's not a funny it's not fun <laughs> to be in a situation where you like lose all your um capacity of your body you once had 